Yo, what's up YouTube? It's your boy Pro Jamaica man and I'm back with another video for y'all and I'm, I'm coming to answer the subscribers the fans questions man a lot of these comments have been about basically how to select a character in the game right uh, a lot of people have been asking me a lot of new people have been asking me how do you select a position in the game to play so uh, yeah in this video I'm gonna be going over that and uh, yeah Let's First of all, before we even get into that, your boy anxious, you know what I'm saying? Your boy Jamaica done became the leader of Royal. Shout out to that boy Kino. He messaged me today a few things, but I don't believe him, man, because you we were just playing, bro. So I don't believe what he he was trying to say to me, but uh level 10, max level club, 100% activity, Royals the ID for the club is 3712 club name is Royals I am the leader now uh, I'm recruiting players superstar 5 and higher to the club so superstar 5 to legend can apply to the club and uh, yeah let's get into so, the video first of all before you even get into uh, playing the game trying to figure out which position you want to play First of all, you have to meet the game's requirements in order to play the game because you want to have a comfortable experience, right? A comfortable gameplay experience. Now, a lot of people have been complaining about in-game lag. Guys, if you want to have a fix, all you have to do is go and uh, put in a bug report. If enough people go and put in bug reports, then they will, you know what I'm saying, be forced to basically fix what's going on whatever is going on whatever people are complaining about now a lot of people are playing on bad devices and that's the main cause of the problem so before you even try to go around trying to figure out which position you want to play first of all the game requires you to have 1.5 uh, gigabytes 1.51 gigabytes i think of uh, space or storage space on your phone for the game itself and more often than not when you don't have a lot of space on your phone your phone overheats a lot and your game doesn't run as smoothly as if you would have more space on your phone now your phone's processor does come into play as well so make sure you guys are using a good like iPhone or Android phone or whatever kind of phone you guys use in order to play the game and if you're using an emulator or you know what I'm saying you're on an iPhone or some or an Android phone you need four gigabytes of RAM uh, in order to have a comfortable gaming experience or meet the minimum requirements uh, to play the game now if you have lower than that you're gonna experience lag your game is gonna crash even though the game crashes just because I don't know what's going on right now there's a lot of lag I'm not gonna lie to you guys there is a lot of lag going on with the game but if you guys want to have a comfortable gaming experience I recommend you guys to have at least four gigabytes of RAM and you have enough uh, space in order to um, download the game and uh, run the game without there being any complications on your device so uh, yeah let's get into the next tip on how to pick your player so you already have enough RAM you have enough storage right your processor is good you're on the latest iPhone you're using a Asus gaming laptop or something like I'm using to play the game <laughs> on the lightest emulator out there make sure y'all use my link in the description man download that emulator download LD player one of the lightest fastest emulators out there uh, ever since I changed to the lighter version of LD player I have not been crashing as much uh, game runs very smoothly on this emulator they do have a couple fixed settings to where you could meet the minimum requirements in order to play this game without it stressing out your PC too much and by default it's set to take up half of the resources on your computer or uh, emulator or 
whatever you're using uh, whatever PC you're using it's set to take up half of the resources when it's playing the game so it's not gonna take up your entire processing power when you're trying to play the game right so uh, make sure y'all check out LD player but that goes into the next tip that I want to give you guys and it's your Wi-Fi make sure you have good ping like if you want to play center or power forward you need to be able to block and counter rebound and chip out spam and uh, uh, rebound and block and stuff like that so make sure you have good ping uh, my threshold for playing big is around you could have 50 ping max to play big on this game I want to say past 50 ping then you're gonna have lagging problems you're gonna get boarded over people are gonna be jumping over your head and you're gonna be wondering what what's going on you know you're not gonna be able to react to what's going on if you're playing any other small positions and uh, like not small positions but if you're playing power forward and you have like 50 ping your blocking is not gonna be as good because of input del delay and lag and stuff like that so make sure you have a good amount of ping in order to play the power forward and center positions and uh, just play the game in general because if you're lagging the whole game then you know what I'm saying you're gonna ruin your own gameplay experience and you're gonna ruin others gameplay experience so keep that in mind when you're picking out this stuff alright so now that that's out of the way what you want to do now guys is you see how they offer these 50 rated characters right to start out the game now you should receive one of these characters for free when you're starting out the game now it, it, you don't have to play the exact position uh, that you pick when you start out the game but uh, when you do get into the game and you finish the tutorial and stuff you'll be able to sign some of these players now do I recommend signing the 150 rated characters no I would save my resources, save those coins that you would get, and don't sign these 150 rated characters. Why? Because they don't have features either. So, And they don't gain increased stats when you buy the more expensive characters. It's just more rating. So it doesn't matter to buy the 150 rated characters. I would go ahead and buy all these 50 rated characters. And as you can see, when you buy a character... You literally, as you play the game, you unlock skills from the training road, right? So, once you unlock the training road, and you max out the training road, you're able to, as you can see, unlock more skills. And as you unlock more skills, you'll be able to try out more skills and experiment, experiment more. So, for the price of, what is this, 2,500 coins, you could try out every position in the game. And just get a feel of how each position plays and uh, w whichever one you like then that's the position you want to pick right so uh, keep in mind the stuff that I told you guys earlier about the ping and the RAM and your internet and stuff like that so uh, yeah once you guys decide that I'll give you go ahead and give you guys the next tip so let's get into it. so when you go ahead and pick out which uh, character or which position you want to use because you you're not gonna be able to decide which character you want from a 50 rated character right a 500 coin character you're not gonna be able to select which character you want what you want to do is go in regular matches yes I know a lot of people are going to be upset about this because it's your win rate but when you're picking something as important as which position which player you want to pick um, I wouldn't stress about win rate when it comes to these things so just jump into the regular match I promise you guys once you pick this this stuff and figure this stuff out the game will get much much easier for you even though you're overwhelmed right now so it's all a process and uh, yeah play a regular match play a couple matches just try to analyze the way you play and try to figure out you know what I'm saying what you like doing most with this position and basically 
uh, that's going to help you develop or uh, learn which player you want to play or pick uh, based on a few things. Now, I'm going to explain these things to you guys, so let's get into it. Alright, so now that you've basically figured out which uh, position you want to play, you've analyzed your gameplay style, right? Uh, what you want to do is say if you, you're a SF, let's use SF as an example, right? Say you're a SF player and you like to score but you're getting blocked a lot and stuff like that, right? Um, what you want to do is literally go in here because I don't think a new player is going to have just 400 contract shards sitting around, you know what I'm saying? But if you want to spend diamonds, you, you could save up your contract shards and eventually sign a, one of these 300 rated players just for the time being before you start like really playing and getting into the game to where you want to invest in getting a legendary contract or uh, spending actual money to sign a good player you know what I'm saying so um doing the roulette or something like that what you want to do is in order to pick a character's feature now say you're a center and you fail a lot of rebounds and you need a character to help you to get rebounds right so uh, what you would do is you would jump over to the center and you would be like boom now it's not max or Taylor they don't have any rebound height and range characters in this range here which is really sad because it's only max Hayes and Taylor for the 300 so the 400 is the only other position for this so let's use somebody like Taylor right who is a uh, downgraded Tsukino when falling behind a successful block marginally increases block range and height effect will, can be stacked twice and will be cleared once you gain the lead so uh, this is a 300 rated basically Tsukino this character 500 rated character her feature uh, in the, uh, the 300 rated form so um, if you guys are following me here basically what you want to do is model your playstyle around whichever one of these characters feature matches your playstyle best so if you go down a lot and you need to play a lot of defense and you're not able to block as well and you need like a little help when you fall behind in order to block better then you use a player like this because when you're falling behind you could get a block and it increases your block range and block height so if you get an easy block you can basically close out the game or gain the lead back for your team based off of this so um, that's just one of the scenarios that I'm giving to you guys uh, but uh, yeah Make sure you guys are keeping this stuff in mind when you're trying to pick characters. A feature basically helps you enhance your playstyle, right? So if you analyze your game playstyle and you're like, okay, cool. I like this player because I could do this, that, and this. And I want to use, as you can see, the 150 rated players do not have any feature whatsoever. But the 300 rated players do. You could cop one of these players real quick and just play with them for a little while. Uh, while you basically figure out and improve on your gameplay style to a point where...